Lower East Side, 2011. We're gonna take a trip back in time, people, to a place that was way different, the music was different, the people were different. And we're gonna take a trip back to the years 1985, 1986. And thanks to Brooke Robinson, who was kindly enough to do uh, submit a bunch of photos for a gallery exhibit here called Sunday Matinee. We're gonna check that out. For a lot of you people who didn't uh, hear about this or missed it, I'm gonna show you a bit of some of the photography that Brooke did, and let's check it out. These are Amy from Nausea, the original singer, one of the original singers from Nausea. See here, you see a very early Jimmy from Murphy's Law at Seabees. P.D. Hines, a uh, drummer from Murphy's Law, played on the, uh, actually the first record of Murphy's Law. You can check that out right there. And over here, people, is when Chrome Mags played Irving Plaza, I believe back in uh, 85, 86. It's like a large print. Back in the olden days on Tottenham Square Park. What the neighborhood really used to look like, one of the old earlier uh, photos from 85. Back in the day, they actually used to have shows over at the uh, Tottenham Square Park band show, which is no longer there anymore. And there's Tommy Carroll from Straight Ahead. He also played drums for Warzone at one point when the band first started. And there's Russ from Underdog. In front of the original CB, and if you look right there, there's a Palace Hotel, and now it's the uh, BRC Homeless Center. They're straight ahead performing live in CBs. There's Tommy and Alexa. They used to be a couple for a long time, for a lot of you don't know. There's another show of Alexa up there. Those have a set of Murphy's Law photos. You can check out right there. Well, on the backdrop there, you see Tommy and Alexa hanging out in the backstage at CB's, and over here is a rooftop shot of Lower East Side. Of course, in the backdrop there, you see the skyline. Warzone photos right there. I see when Todd Youth was with them. It's like in uh, 1985.
And for a lot of you who don't know, believe it or not, this is the original single from Nausea before Neil got a lot of his uh, tattoo work done. Of course, he got a couple of rhino skins back in the day, and of course, you can see the guy with the red hat swinging as uh, Joe Bruno. And there's a bunch of uh, shots of an agnostic from the CBs. I believe in, I want to say, 85. Some really good shots I've been taking here, too, as you can see. Here with uh, Jimmy and Big Charlie. Here with a couple old school hardcore tattoos right there. That's Petey's uh, bulldog on his neck. John Joseph from the Crow Mag is getting one of his uh, other tattoos as we see right there. Is that the shot of Amy from Nausea? There's some random cats hanging out from the CBs. And there's Frenchie's skin up there. Another shot of uh, the Crow Mags and CBs. And here's Tommy Rat. For a lot of you who don't know, he was the original singer of Warzone and actually started the band before uh, Ray was in the band. Ray played drums when Warzone first started, and Tommy Rat actually sang. He's an old school shot for a lot of you people don't know. There's Todd Youth, Jimmy from Murphy's Law and Rabies from Warzone, right there. Hanging out from the CBs. <laughs> There's another old school shot from the CBs, the left hanging out from the van. Got a big old photo of Frenchie. So you see right there. We got some more uh, Chromax photos from CBs. Mac 
Thank you, right there. Another classic Frenchie photo here, just him hanging out in the park. See another classic photo of Jimmy just going out through the CBs. And last but not least, people, I wanted to show you some really uh, sick old school bad brains photos here from Irvin. Actually, this is over at the Ritz, where they filmed recently the Super Bowl Hardcore not too long ago. These are some of the best photos here in the exhibit. That's it, everybody. Hope you guys and gals enjoyed a little piece of New York hardcore punk history there. And I will be leaving a uh, description of some of the show or the exhibit down there at the link, so definitely check it out. And that's about it, everybody. Remember, hardcore punk lives. Cheers.